two or three minute vlog post. And this time I want to talk about what I was supposed to be doing next weekend, next week, Saturday, which was running the Milwaukee Marathon. This was going to be marathon number 10 or 11 for me. I was really jazzed about it, uh, but unfortunately canceled due to COVID-19. In fact, pretty much every race this spring, including some pretty high profile ones like Boston, either canceled or postponed due to COVID-19. And there are a lot of bummed runners out there as a result of that. Now, they did convert the Milwaukee Marathon to a virtual option. I, I don't find virtual races quite as fun. I, I enjoy the experience of being around other runners, of seeing people lining the streets and spectators cheering me on. So uh, while I'll probably still do the virtual option, it's not gonna be as enjoyable for me. Now, this got me to thinking, should we be running marathons right now? Because for the past 30 years, there's been a belief that strenuous exercise like running a marathon can actually make you more susceptible to respiratory infections, things like colds and flu. And they thought this because after a period of intense exercise, they would see a drop in T cells, the immune system cells, in your bloodstream for about a 72 hour window. They called that the open window period. And because of this, they thought that especially marathon runners and intense exercisers were more susceptible to getting sick. But more recent research has actually shown that this open window theory is bunk. Uh, the T cells that they see disappearing from your bloodstream aren't dying off the way they thought they were. Instead, those T cells are being moved into vulnerable areas of your body, like your lungs, to help fight off invading infection. So rather than declining, your immune system is actually targeting and improving to prevent infection from colds, flu, and other illnesses. So researchers from Bath University have actually so, uh, shown and said that regular physical exercise improves your body's immune system response, reduces the incidence of things like cold and flu, and also can reduce your risk of, uh, of non-communicable diseases like cancer and immune system problems. So, uh, I'm sorry, not immune system, but uh, uh, um, inflammatory diseases. So uh, don't be afraid to exercise. Don't be afraid to run your marathon. Don't be afraid to do intense exercise, but be smart about it. You know, know that that open window is now closed, but don't give yourself an open door to infection. What do I mean about that? If you haven't been exercising regularly, now is not the time to start an intense exercise program. Start with something more moderate, start with something uh, a little bit lower key and build up to more intense exercise. Uh, don't work out with somebody who is showing symptoms of being sick. If you have a running partner and your running partner is coughing and sneezing, keep your social distance or don't run with that running partner at all. Uh, wash your hands before and after exercise. And if you're using gym equipment, make sure you wipe down any equipment before and after you use it. Be smart about your exercise, but know that regular exercise is good for you. For more information, you can go to my website, roysmalley.us, and check out my blog post on this very topic. Thanks.